Today we're going to be unboxing, setting up, and reviewing a compact USB plug and play microphone. It looks a lot like a blue snowball, but does it sound like a blue snowball? And unfortunately, that in combination with the whole debacle with the boom arm, plus that cheap feeling body, let's get it. Party Stallions and Stallionettes, welcome to the Gamer Heaven. I'm your host, AK40 Kevin. So a couple of quick disclaimers or PSAs, if you will. I have been violently ill the past few days. In fact, I'm still quite sick right now. I have broken my fever, which is good. But about two days ago, my fever was consistently around 101.8. And I want to thank Movo for their patience, considering this product was sent out for an honest, comprehensive review, and they wanted this review to go live a few days ago. But I told them I am very sick. And they said, hey, your health takes priority. Get well and let us know when the video's online. So those are my two announcements right there. I have been very sick. That's why I have not uploaded in a couple of days. And by the way, I have to be absolutely up to not be making YouTube videos considering I have had two surgeries and came home from the hospital and instantly started making YouTube videos. I've also been very ill in the past and recorded YouTube videos. So if I if I don't come in this room and turn on my lights and warm up my microphone and clean off the lens of my Sony a5100, well, that was tempting there, ladies. Um, then I am obviously very, very sick. And the second part of that is, yes, this product was sent for review. However, it is going to be an honest, comprehensive review. So if there are any cons or shortcomings, which there are, unfortunately, you are going to hear about it. Let's get to unboxing this sucker, shall we? So I have tested other Movo products on this channel in the past, and thus far I have been surprised with their quality, their price to performance, and overall, the build quality. So I'm not expecting this product to be any different. Now, granted, this is an entry-level model that retails for 50 US dollars. It does go for 60 on their website. However, it can be had for 50 on Amazon and there are four different available colors and in my opinion this is aligned to be a direct competitor with the blue snowball or snowball ice I should say not only in shape form factor but also feature set a little silica gel packet make sure you properly dispose of that have a little protective film here enjoy the ASMR very nice very nice I am not a fan of this piano black here. This is going to collect micro scratches and fingerprints like nobody's business. Also, the body does feel a little bit cheap and hollow and plasticky. You have to keep in mind, since this is a USB plug and play microphone, you technically have a capsule, an analog to digital converter, and a preamp all within the body of a $50 microphone. So they kind of do have to cut costs somewhere. And a lot of times that happens to be in the plastics that actually house or keep all the parts together. Now, if this thing's just sitting on your desk, it's gonna be just fine. However, one substantial drop I feel might do this thing in. In the back, you do have a USB-C cable. You do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for lag-free monitoring of your voice. You do have a knob on each side with the right being able to be clicked in. Now, I do like this feature a lot. The one on the right over here is for your headphone monitoring. So if you actually wanna hear a preview of yourself, you can hear that, click down to mute. But on the left over here, you also have a gain knob. I'm a big fan of external gain knobs for USB mic microphones because, well, considering it's a USB microphone, you don't have a mixer or audio interface in front of you like I usually do with my Go XLR. So it is nice to have that control there to where if you see yourself starting to clip or peak, you can taper back a little bit. Or if you're on stream and maybe you're listening for some footsteps, you're talking rather quiet, you can go ahead and bump up that gain a little bit. Granted, we are going to set up three VST plugins on the PC over here. So it's going to boost our low volumes and then taper back on our high volume. So it's one consistent volume. So headphone users on our stream don't get a nasty little surprise. I don't know what this was. That's not a surprise they're getting. Now, if it seems like I don't have all my wits about me today, for example, my monitor just timed out behind me because I forgot to change that setting before starting the video. My brain's been baking with a fever of about 101 for the last couple days. Uh, so uh, I do apologize for that. I don't get sick very often. In fact, it's actually been about three years since I've been sick sick. But when I do... Uh, it is very, very bad. So you have two cables in the box. You have a USB-A to USB-C. This is going to be if you're using it with the PC. Now, then you also have a USB-C to USB-C cable. And this is most likely going to be used if you are using this microphone with a tablet or cell phone that does have a USB-C port only and no USB type A ports. Now, this looks relatively short. So you most likely are going to need to get some kind of an extension. I will have one linked in the description below. It is basically female on one end, male on the other. So you can extend your USB cable to about a 10 footer, considering if you're going to be running this bad boy 
on something like a boom arm, which I always recommend you do because these little desktop stands here, these are great for a pinch if you're if you're traveling for business or maybe you're a college student in a dormitory that needs this thing for a presentation then also to do some hot sticky streams in the evenings. You're actually gonna get a lot better audio quality getting this closer to your mouth on something like a boom arm. So I'm gonna recommend a couple of boom arms. They are linked in the description below. I have some cheap options down there around the $25 mark and then obviously some premium boom arms like the blue compass over my shoulder. But these little desktop stands will get it near your suck hole in a pinch. Uh, it does have a rubberized coating on the bottom here which is incredibly grippy. This thing isn't going anywhere. And this does feel kind of cheap and plasticky, but again, it doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything. And I wouldn't expect some stamped billet aluminum or anything with a $50 USB mic. So you have quite a bit of adjustment with this little niblet right here. I don't think niblet's the official term, but you have this little knob right here. I'm gonna turn it right about there. That provides a good amount of resistance, but I can also adjust it if I need to. Awesome, we're gonna put both these knobs top dead center at about 50%. And let's get this bad boy plugged up to the PC. Now over here at the desktop with the web mic plugged in, this is the out of the box vanilla missionary position settings over here. And unfortunately, you cannot set this bad boy up on a boom arm. You are gonna need to buy a separate adapter, which is going to be kind of a pain in the rump. Movo doesn't specifically list the actual thread size. Even using something like calipers, I was unable to get a proper reading as to how big the thread size was. It almost looks like an eighth of an inch, but it's not. Even high-end boom arms like what I have with the blue compass over here, they do come with adapters, but not this tiny little toy size. So this is just on the desktop stand, which like I said, is definitely not ideal. You want this bad boy on a boom arm. So that is a huge downside is that this just is not optimized for being put on a boom arm right out of the box. Now to make sure that your volume level Level is just right and that you're actually picking up your new microphone you're gonna come down here and right click and go to sound settings and as soon as you plug this microphone in your output and input will go to web mic if you are gonna be monitoring your voice via that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack in the back of the microphone then you are gonna leave the output as such now input this is your actual microphone settings and of course you are gonna have selected your new web mic over here then go down here to device properties and by default you can see this bad boy is at hundred now I do have the gain knob on the side of the microphone body at a about 50%. Now keep in mind, we are gonna throw on three VST plugins, an equalizer, a compressor, and a noise gate to get this bad boy optimized to give you that radio S presence. Now once you've done these settings in Windows 10 over here, depending on your broadcasting software, whether you're using OBS or Streamlabs, you are gonna come over here to this little cog icon in the lower left and you are gonna go over here to audio. Then under mic and auxiliary device one, you are gonna select your new microphone. In this case, it is labeled as web mic. And over here, you can see that I'm just barely in the yellow, which is good. Let's crank that up just a little bit more, perfect. Now, ideally in things like XSplit Broadcaster, OBS, Streamlabs, uh, Twitch's broadcast software, you wanna be in the yellow. That's giving you enough vocal presence, but you're also not clipping. If you are in the red, that means that you are starting to clip and you wanna cut back your gain just a little bit. Now, I do have a separate guide showing you how to download and install the three VST plugins that we're about to install right now, which again is an equalizer to add a little bit more treble and bass and cut out those muddy mids, a noise gate to cut out background noise from things such as your HVAC system or the fans from your PC, and then arguably the most important, a compressor to boost up those quiet sounds when maybe you're whispering or really focusing on a game. And then when you start to get loud, maybe you're raging in a game, it cuts back on your loud volume and boosts up your quiet volume to give you one consistent volume, which is very important to to not blow out the eardrums of headphone listeners. Now I'm gonna do that now, but again, that video will be linked in the description below. And I strongly recommend that if you pick up any USB microphone, you do watch that tutorial. It is incredibly in depth and shows you how to get the best audio quality out of any USB microphone, even a $15 generic flea market special, all the way up to $150 flagship, such as the HyperX Quadcast. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? Unique New York. Unique New York. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. When I'm sick, I feel like a hoe. I am a snap aiming specialist. The stallions in the stable go pitter patter, pitter patter, gallop, gallop, clip, clap. That's an audio test for you. So this is with the microphone about three inches away from my mouth, ideally where it should be if you could put this bitch on a boom arm if it had the proper thread adapter, which it doesn't, and it doesn't tell you what size the thread is, so you can't just buy your own adapter. So even with the proper placement on a boom arm, it still does sound really hollow and tinny, even after doing some very aggressive equalizer settings, boosting up the low end or the bass 
several decibels, cutting out those muddy mids, and then adding a little bit more vocal presence and clarity on the high end with the treble. It still doesn't have that. It still doesn't have that radio s presence that a lot of other USB microphones, even in this price point, do. And unfortunately, that in combination with the whole debacle with the boom arm, plus that cheap feeling body, this is actually the one Movo product that thus far I'm not overwhelmed with. Do I think it's a terrible microphone? No, I have heard worse microphones, but that's not a lot of praise saying I've had worse or you know I've seen uglier. Uh, and unfortunately, in comparison to some of the other Movo products I have tested on the channel, this microphone just falls well, much like what you're hearing right now, a little flat. Just to show everyone out there, Movo included, that I've done my due diligence trying to make this microphone sound as good as humanly possible. If you come over here, you can see WebMic is my current microphone. Clicking on this cog icon over here, you will see filters. I have three applied. I can't even count that high, but that's how many filters I have on here. You come over here, I have my noise gate. Go ahead and open the interface. Thank you for the follow. It's cutting out my noise floor in the background. Coming over here to equalizer, I had to do a very aggressive equalizer as you can see here. I generally do not have to bump the bass up this high or cut out the mids quite this aggressively. However, with this microphone, I really tried to compensate for that kind of hollow, tinny, you know, underwater or talking into a tin can sound that I was getting out of it. It didn't really do the job. And then over here in compressor, bam, uh, as I get loud, it's cutting back a few decibels in my voice, which the compressor is doing a fantastic job, by the way, I will say, because even when I'm talking relatively quietly, I'm still right here in the high green to low yellow but then when i get loud maybe i'm raging or something i'm not blowing out your eardrums i'm never actually in the red or clipping so the compressor Mwah, is muy caliente. Again, the video showing you how to get these three equalizer settings, which generally do sound quite a bit better on a USB microphone, that video is linked in the description below. Unfortunately, that video didn't get a lot of views. Maybe it was the thumbnail or the title that wasn't popping off with the uh, algorithm, but it is a very informative video. So where can you buy this microphone? Is it worth it? And what are some other alternatives or competitives out there that I would recommend? So first of all, this does retail for 50 US dollars. It does go for 60 on their website. However, it constantly goes for 50 on Amazon, and that is for all four the colors after only being able to ring out the sound performance that we were able to with those three vst plugins i personally would have to lean towards something like the blue snowball ice over here now the snowball is on sale for 60 bucks and the snowball ice is 40 bucks the only difference is is only a cardioid pattern and this has two selectable pickup patterns however for streamers and youtubers 90 percent of the time you're going to be in cardioid pattern now it is rather unfortunate because this product was sent for review and i generally do like to give products my stamp of approval if possible if they are sent for review. However, having integrity as an online tech reviewer, I have to say that there are better options in the $50 price point for a plug and play USB microphone, and especially one that is virtually identical in size and shape, being the Blue Snowball, that actually comes with a threaded adapter to get on a boom arm, which will make any microphone, no matter how cheap or expensive, uh, sound better. So, between the fact that this cannot be effectively mounted to a boom arm short of buying some random adapter on Amazon that may or may not even work. Plus, even after doing a ton of finagling off camera, trying to fine tune equalizer settings, which I do have a fair amount of experience with audio design, um, I was unable to really squeeze out that radio presence that I require from a USB or XLR microphone, whether it's dynamic or condenser. So unfortunately is not a microphone that I would personally use and I, as such I cannot recommend it to my audience. However, if you did like the styling and design of it or you did listen to the audio quality and thought, hey, that actually sounds pretty good for my needs, then it is linked down there in the description below and I would recommend you check it out in that case. If you enjoyed this honest microphone review, liking the video will help it to get seen by more potential streamers and YouTubers. This information will reach and assist them as well. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry as well as tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing and honest gaming peripheral reviews, keyboards, mice, headsets, controllers, mics, chairs, etc. And I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully if I'm not like dying. Peace.